the Michaela scandal is hitting TikTok hardcore right now, and everybody has every right to be mad. But I just want to say one thing. The algorithm doesn't care about the truth. The algorithm cares about reactions and watch time. You can't consistently go viral without lying. Like, everybody loves a really good lie. If you are following one of these influencers that has 10, 20 million followers and they consistently go viral, it's very likely that they have been using unethical ways to get there. I'm not saying every single one of them did this, but I'm saying most of them did. Right now, the goal on TikTok is to go viral every single time. And I think we as content creators need to shift this way of thinking. And I also think the brands need to stop expecting this because it's not realistic and it's starting to backfire. Let's say I wanna go viral every single time I post. I'm gonna have to lie, like a lot, because there's simply no chance that every single product that I try is life-changing. Like that's the hard reality of it. But these content creators, they just need to go viral every single time. And the brands are pushing them to do that. But think about like the long-term effects of that. What are you going to achieve? Your product goes super viral, but it's based on an exaggerated lie. A bunch of people buy that product. Like I'm talking millions. And the product doesn't really work as advertised. The influencer is going to lose respect and the brand, I don't think they're going to get repurchases. They're going to get an instant boost of sales, but long term, it's not really a sustainable option, is it? I think what happens to these huge creators like Michaela in this situation is that they feel the need to always compete with the algorithm and with other huge content creators. And in order to do that, they need to constantly cause reactions. Because if you look at this product, at the L'Oreal mascara that she was advertising, it's not even a bad mascara. Like, I've seen reviews of this mascara, and it seems like a good mascara. It gives lots of volume. It seems to work really nicely. But in order to get that, oh, wow, click, yes, like effect, she went the extra mile. And this is something that works 99% of the time for these creators. They get away with it and they get the likes, the clicks, everyone's happy, they're happy, the brand is happy. But that 1% of the time, it backfires. And when it backfires... It causes not only damage to the creator and the brand, but it also causes damage to us other people, us smaller content creators. Like, we all do collaborations with brands. That's how we survive. It's fine. Or we have our own skincare lines. But, like, I, I'm using a brand that I've worked with right now in this video. But I've used their products before I became a content creator. Now I get free stuff from that. I get free shit. We do promoted posts, stuff like that. But people want content creators to tell them what they really like. That's why we exist. We don't exist to be just another channel for commercials. Because if they wanted commercials, they would turn on TV. We have to ask ourselves, why do our content creators chase numbers instead of being able to sleep at night and being honest. I could go get a bunch of filler and say that the reason I, my face looks fresh is the skincare I'm using. But eventually it would catch up with me. And I think the embellishments are starting to catch up with these big creators.